Hey guys, welcome out to another video. Corey here with Golden Press, and we are going to be talking about how to make logos using the Screen Printer Starter Pack in the program Adobe Illustrator. Super stoked about this, and uh, might as well just hop into this little bad boy. We got this uh, screen printer starter pack right here, and this is uh, some downloadable assets that I created. Um, they are sold on Ryanet's website, and um, they're pretty sick. We have a lot of different elements, and I just wanna show you guys how to use them and how you can create your own logos using them. I got all these different logos that are already pre-made for you guys that you could just go in and straight change. And I'm just gonna show you an example with this one. Uh, you know, it's all grouped, but we can just click on it and double click and ungroup that so we can kind of edit it a little easier. And seriously, this is just typed on a path. And so, you know, maybe your shop's not Hot Mama, but maybe it's Golden Press Studio. But you know, it's not all the way centered. And so you could fix that by just going up to your type options and maybe expanding um, the kerning or like the width of or how far they're separated the letters are until it looks good and boom so just that simple you could switch out you know the text on these logos and these graphics and uh, make them whatever you want them to be it's, it's the same with all of this stuff we have tons and tons of different uh, just styles tons of different logos um, but like I said if you're not happy with uh, one of these you can make your own. And so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so I'm going to close this and pull up just uh, the file that has just our elements. Now we're gonna make a new document and create a logo just out of the elements. So let's go create new. We got a 10 by 10, that's fine. 10 inches by 10 inches, got a little box. We can even hit Command R to show our rulers. We got all these cool, cool different elements and I'm going to use this little squeegee. I'm gonna copy that, Command C, and paste it, Command V. I will make that bigger so you can see it. And I'm also gonna utilize this little uh, ink smear. And we're gonna copy and paste that on our document as well and make it bigger and rotate it. Cool. And I'm gonna make these black just for now. We may mess with some colors later, but black is good. Good kind of template to work off of. So I'm gonna hit T or pull up our, our type and we're just gonna use the same name that I've been using, that Hot Mama Print Shop. So let's just go Hot. Mama, we make that bigger. And uh, let's change that font. Um, with this pack, you actually get um, a, a couple fonts and that's that Plant Shop Solid font. Um, it's a good, good bold looking font, all capitalized letters. And I think it just fits the feel of this. So that's what we're gonna use. And what I'm gonna do for this is I'm going to make the first and last letter a bit bigger, just to kind of balance out this uh, this logo that we're making here. So 97, that seems all right. So I'll just make that last letter the same, 97. And cool, I like that. And then we need print shop, right? So let's type that out. Print shop. And we're gonna put that underneath the hot mama and uh, we're gonna space that out a bit as well just uh, kind of pushing that tracking over a little bit and we might make it a little smaller after we get it all stretched out here cool and might as well center everything as well good um, and let's also add in a location of our Hot Mama print shop. And I think I'm gonna space out this print shop a little more. 
and our location is nowhere comma na it's a beautiful place if you've not visited i highly recommend visiting there it's just beautiful and we're going to shrink that guy down as well uh, the next thing I want to do is I want the uh, Hot Mama and Print Shop and Nowhere uh, to kind of have a nice arc to it. And so how we're going to go about doing that is we're going to click on it, we're going to go to Object, and we're going to go Envelope Distort. And it has these couple options down here, and we're going to hit Make with Warp. And you can see that it does a little arc right there, and uh, this little slider kind of changes how how great the arc is and how less it is and I think a 27 pre, or 26 26 percent arc is good and then we're gonna do the same with the print shop we're gonna go object envelope distort make with warp and I'm gonna make it a little less than 26 um, so it just kind of matches up with that curve on bottom a little more because it's underneath it so 19%, that should be fine. That looks good. And we're gonna do the same with the nowhere. I'm just gonna make them expanded so they're officially a shape. You can just hit object and expand and okay. And now it's, it's a shape. We're gonna do that to all of them. And let's center everything to our artboard. Cool and the same with that. Okay, now uh, we can put our, our type over top of this squeegee and we can just kind of find out the best placement for this. I also want to add this little stroke and I'm gonna squish it a little and stretch it a little. I don't typically recommend doing things like that uh, with your elements, but since this is kind of an abstract shape, it's not that big of a deal. And I'm also gonna make that print shop white just so I can see it. I'm good with that. And so right now this logo is looking a little busy um, with our placement because it's got all these little lines and different things behind the lettering. I'm just gonna move some elements around. I'm gonna delete some elements and then uh, maybe even tweak some of them. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna go in and grab my direct selection tool with the hotkey of A and just grab this, pull it up a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Um, this one, I'm just gonna straight click on an anchor point and delete this one I don't like that it's cutting through all these letters so I'm getting rid of that I'm just gonna go through this design and clean up some of that so that looks a little bit better um, but I also don't like how these uh, streaks um, kind of in this area on both sides are cutting into the design so I went over this tool in a previous video, but if you hit the letter N on your keyboard, it pulls up your pencil tool. And so if I go and select uh, the squeegee, these, this just area, and then hit the letter N, I can just go in and draw uh, these little points. And when I connect it, it just kind of redraws it and, and gets it out of my way. So I just don't like how it was cutting into the lettering. So I'm gonna just do that on all of these little points that I don't like where they're at. And it's not that big of a deal because this is a hand done design so it's supposed to not look perfect. That's better. Um, another thing is this H is kind of, it goes through this section. I want it to look a little more realistic, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the pen tool, letter P on your keyboard, and I'm just gonna draw this little shape um, where I want to cut out of this H as if, you know, this 
letter was on the squeegee and it got cut out. So I'm gonna click that and it's a group right now, the H's. And so I'm gonna ungroup it. And I'm gonna hit Command 8 to make sure it's a compound path. And then I'm gonna select the little shape I made and the H. Go over here to our Pathfinder tool, minus front, and that just cuts out that little chunk of the H. So now it looks like that it was printed, it was on this squeegee, and it got cut off. And I'm gonna do the same thing to uh, this little streak. I'm gonna make sure it's ungrouped. Cool, it's all the way ungrouped, and then Command 8 to turn it into a compound path. I'm just gonna highlight both of those items and minus front. And what that just did was punched out the plant shop so you can see that it's transparent. Boom. That's all where it needs to be. So that's looking good, um, but I want to do another thing to it. I want to add an outline around uh, this whole kind of graphic. Just I think it'll make it look more so like a logo with an outline, and it just looks cool. So let's do that. So how we're going to do this outline is I'm going to go and I'm going to click on just the squeegee, and I'm actually going to ungroup this because it's got a few little grouped items in there. And uh, so now. I've selected this uh, squeegee. I'm gonna hit object, and I'm gonna go down to path. I'm gonna hit offset path. And as you can see, it's kind of done this little outline around everything. You got it set to miter, and you know, this little default one is actually a pretty good uh, distance, so I'm cool with that. I'm gonna hit okay, and then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna hit my direct selection tool, the letter A, I'm going to click on this inside anchor point. I'm going to hit delete and delete. And now uh, it's all filled in. I'm going to click on that, go over here, and I'm going to switch it from, uh, from the fill color to the stroke. And so now we have this outline around it. We've got a couple little extra spots that uh, we can go in and delete because we don't need those. And that should be good. And then I'm going to click on that, um, that stroke that's around the whole design. And I'm just going to up the weight of it a few points. And six points, uh, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go with six points and I'm going to click on that. Object, expand, OK. And now that is a shape instead of a stroke. So not bad. We already got a pretty cool looking logo, but we want to take it to the next level and just add some color to this logo. You know, I kind of like the, the colors that we used over here, so I'm just going to go over here and uh, we got this orange. I'm going to copy that color. That's C64427. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to hop back over here. I'm just going to make a little box and uh, we're going to paste that color. And I'm just going to make some swatches real quick of the colors that I want to use because I like that color scheme that we were using. So we got our orange and we got our yellow. And how I'm going to go about coloring this is I'm going to use the live paint tool. So I'm going to highlight this whole design. And uh, you can get to the live paint tool. It's either over here on uh, your your little side panel or you can hit the letter K and Then I have black selected and I'm just going to click on a black area of this design And you can see that now we have these red outlines that are popping up. This is going to make it super easy for us to color in our design And I can even now that this is a live paint tool. I don't have to hold that K I, I'm on just my regular selection tool. I'm going to click uh, orange and then click off that orange just to, to make my color orange. Hit the letter K and click right here and now I just filled in almost that whole design. And I'm just gonna go in and start filling in these little spots. And it just makes it really easy to color this design in. Now I wanna color in that yellow so I'm just gonna click my yellow swatch. See over here that my color is now set to yellow. Hit the letter K, and I'm gonna color in the rest of this area. And that looks pretty good. Um, looks like we have some white behind this. 
And uh, I could go in with uh, this little bucket and, and fill in that whole area. Um, I'm just gonna do something that is a little quicker and more simple, where I'm gonna grab my pen tool, I'm gonna select that orange, and I'm just gonna make a box just around this. It's not that big of a deal. And I'm just going to uh, position it to the back of the design to fill in that area. And there you go. That's a cool looking little logo that we just made. Um, and you could just highlight all of this, hit group, and you know, it's good to go. You could use this all over the place. You could save it as a PNG. You could do whatever you want with it. And that, with just a few steps, you could make your own custom logo just out of all these cool design elements that we provided for you guys over in the Screen Printer Starter Pack. So I put together this Screen Printer Starter Pack just because I saw there was a need in the screen printing community to have good vector packs devoted to screen printing. You know, there's so many shops out there that need new logos, that need logos just in general, or need cool elements to make shop shirts and that kind of stuff. So that's why I made this. Hopefully in this video, you were able to learn a little bit about Illustrator and also learn about this pack that is really useful and is very versatile. So thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. I personally love you. And uh, pick up this pack. Get it, I double dog dare you. You hot, hot dog. We'll see you in the next video. Arf! <laughs> <laughs>